to go to the thing where okay good fine and well as well as skipping college since three days due to your cold sickness and as being the most popular girl of the college everyone asking especially the boys were asking about your well-being how can you be popular you don't even know yourself not a player in any sport not a cheerleader an average student yet a smart one my face yeah your face the perfect big face sex cat eyes with long lashes it's too small but a nose perfect lumpy crimson shaded lips a beautiful smile with dimples and perfect eyeglass hair but all of the popularity and beauty didn't affect the fit on your personality never showed any pity never an egoistic instead always a soft and friendly treating everyone equally with love that what attracts everyone to the tree Entering the classroom, you walk through a jersey which was filled up with every kind of healthy cream, bucket of flour, and so on. Fine, you hang your head at the back for it. 248, 249, and 250. Yeah, okay. The next second, your best friend, Jan, pops out of the stuff. Hey, fella. Shouting deliberately, she jumped on you, which made you stumble a bit. Come on, get down. How have you been? How are you feeling now? Okay, good? Sure, I'm good, that's why I'm here, okay? And move it all, please. Oh yeah, there are two of two to kick around. I have counted, and as more your admirers will come, more guests will come. Woohoo! Enough, I don't want the ball. Just give them back. I want to sit on place, and how they got to know that I would come today? Oh, obviously me. They all were asking continuously about you. I was too tired of answering them. Thank God, Jen. And you're not giving them back all of this. I know you're daughter of the famous CEO. And it's hella rich. But can I take them, please? She showed you puppy eyes as you scold. It's not like you're broke or something. Your dad owned the English most popular restaurant. Still, you want them all? Don't be greedy and move it all. But I don't know which is whose. How will I get them back? The good kid always with me. So don't try to fool me and move this all. Before I break your head in two pieces, give them back in graces. Stomping her feet, she put them all aside, but came back with a few of her favorite edible items, and showed you with her pleading eyes again. Not again. Okay, take them, but don't make these eyes, or else I puke. She's squirting in happiness, she engulfed you again, and she pushed her back and settled herself on your seat. Whoa, Kurt, did I tell you? Flopping her butt beside you, she asked with a surprised face, What? You could got a good. Listening your attention, straight you ran to her with a lascivious expression. What the I uh clear it is. Skirt, I completely forgot due to academic activities. Actually the first day in your absence, I never admitted in. Then it's on jungle and she became really close. Greeting to you together, you noted. Make a fuss here about Epic College. The reason of the popularity is same as you. Yeah, that's what made you both competitor of each other in everything. And it's not like in college only, you both knew each other since diaper days. And then went in gym, kindergarten, elementary, middle, and high school together. And now in the same college too. Since childhood, you both are enemies. And that's all because of him. As he broke your favorite doll once, so the next time you broke his Spider-Man toy. And your pains continue to allow these things bickering in a fight too. Hence it, after his parents, you're the person who know about his like and dislike. Accept his secret if you have one. It's not a lie that he's your enemy, but it will be a lie that since you had hit puberty, you have started feeling different about him. He's the dream boy of any girl you want. He and it caused you to develop feelings for him and now this new girl. A new trauma in your life? Is her name by the way? Her name is... Oh, look there, we are here. Her voice became low at the ending of her sentence as he turned towards the direction she pointed at, where he found Jungkook with a girl. Just see how close that girl in just three days. She said while eyeing him, showing his gaze well amused. Whoa, wine dumplings were back, huh? A smiling cockroach started taking a step towards you. So, how have been your time off sickness? Oh yeah, I must figure after all your growing this thingy, yeah? Pressing his palm over his table, he leaned with a raised brow. Yeah, after all, I've had learned this all from you. Whoa, I like the way you praised me. That wasn't fair at all. Anyway, you should be with the one who is waiting for you there, instead of wasting time here in bothering me. 
she planned to work that girl who was kept tapping her foot on the floor. Oh yeah, Abby. He raised your bro at the way he did her name, but unfortunately, we couldn't get a chance to talk back. As the professor came and the class started, while class was silent between taking notes, so as you accidentally, yo, this is Abby's uncle, his sharp jawline, massive hair, his small scar on his cheek. He was too focused, and suddenly he turned around and then sent a look down at your book. But what you didn't notice was his gaze and a small smile. When the class was ended and it closed down, your group gathered in the cafeteria as a usual place, but a thing caught your attention. Hey, um, whose bag is this? Taking your seat, you pointed at your which was occupied by a bag. Oh, it's Addy, the new member of our group playing. As soon as you heard this, your head shot up and you glared at your mate. And why? As far as I know, we don't accept anyone in our group, then? Because I wanted to. You heard the voice come back and saw him even with his big smile. But why? In high school, only we friends are in the group. So, she's not a friend? Well, a friend in the cutest laugh. A friend we don't even know? You snap back and just roll your eyes at him which ignored him. Don't you know us, I think? Come on, she's a really lovely girl and we really don't even know about her. We just seen her from far. And I'm not even interested in to know about her. Folding your arms over your chest, you look away, smile as your friend, Chan Simon, is she as Mia, and Tian were only looking you both harder. Why are you making this an issue? No one in the group have problem with this, then what's wrong? His eyes roamed at every person who was getting there, as he shook their head, accepting he was right. Meanwhile, he just scrubbed the lump and he stood up with a cup. Okay then. I don't like to play at a place where I'm a purple hated. Then you grabbed your bag and walked away after glaring at your uncle. Why she's being childish now? When me and Jen see her, they started walking behind you. Whoa, my friends betrayed me just because of that new girl? Or am I overreacting? But I don't think so. Rule is rule. First of all, we accepted her in the group. Now arguing with me because of her? Yeah, we argue. But not serious like this one. I accidentally bumped with the girl. Oh, sorry. I look up to saw that Abby hand raised her face. She sweetly smiled at me, as I forced to smile at her before walking away again in the classroom. Dudes are in love. Why they don't get the head? Yeah, but who say they can? You? Go ahead. I don't want my penny to be turned left. I was immersed in my thought out of the place when I jumped on my shoulders, making me faint. Someone is getting dumped to me. Shut up and let me alone. Come on, shut up. We're fine with her too, then. Stop behaving like you don't know. How she behaves with her? Okay, so you're jealous, aren't you? I smacked a lens on her head with an eye roll. Me too, she pinched and started pasting. Over my dead body. Now go from here, please. Push them away as I need to give the one away. Two weeks passed while avoiding each other, not a new day, but the situation is still the same between Jungkook and you. Well, that also became the hot topic of the college as it is strange to see the most likely kid to be this fine. And also the couple which everyone loved to shit. Entering in a basketball court with a gen, you got the attention of a student, not actual players. Who are playing their basketball? Ball here and you're out. Well, since you have a command of you, they will only pass the ball to your thing out. Would you mind if we both join you? Yes, for sure. One boy and three girls, me. The three girls still at his great face with his mate. Don't worry, me and my jam will be in one, and you too. As you wish, buddy. Soon you fall by busy entering after two rules to take a break. Oh god, ah, I'm tired. He said while well, gulping his water, I see so too. That fast. What about you, Mia? Damn why, you're not an inch of here. God, all girls you snatched from us, we should enroll your name in the team. He said in her stable breath as he let out of sugar. No way, I'm lazy F. Moreover, this is the final year of college. So someone, oh no, not one. Three entered in which you called to roll your eyes internally. As you have time, you heard to divert your mind from the situation, but here we go. 
he became gentle with one of them, saying in a high pitched deep voice, You were certain of the old man's wrong. Plumbo needed you to advise the squirrel at the phone. Excuse me, your old man was not answering. Maybe because we were prison playing? They all were chatting while you were looking at him without granting them one, whereas his eyes were stuck on you. I began forward to offer everyone to see she was eating. He hands in a thanked her after taking one, but when Jen was about to throw bread at her, poor her, she had to push back the key. No thanks, Abby. I don't like to eat sweets. He politely refused her, but she brought it silently. But this is your favorite juicy one. Please take one. She said very sweetly, and he was thankless, but the ego of her, because of the argument he had with Jenny before, didn't like you. She wiggled eyebrows at her, which caught everyone's attention, and she realized it, but she seemed to be panicked and nervous. Oh, uh, actually, yes, yes, she looked told me. She pointed at Jungkook as if not in confusion while you felt happy. Me? But I told you, I didn't. Uh, guys, why out of nowhere you bring the topic of this spooky spooky? I was talking about the game. Oh, yes, sorry. We shall continue. She apologized sweetly. Sometimes you felt like you were thinking wrong and being overdramatic. While still, your jealousy wasn't pleased. No need to be sorry. Yes, so you four just play without us? Come on, let's play a game with us. No, I'm tired. He threw his head back at Sanyo with a force, pulled his head up to make him stand up. And of course, he didn't want in front of him. This is your punishment of playing without us. I know then, you all go, but one will be missed. Placing your phone aside, you said you'd try pushing her. Oh no, we have Addy here. She will play. She rolled your eyes and Addy was pushing three clean cookies she looked hearing him make. Me? No, a prisoner. I don't even know the plea of basketball. But hearing her sweet voice caught your attention. Seeing them standing beside each other, it did not like hurt. Come on, it will be fun. And you're also not like a good player. He insisted her and they both touched each other fondly and smiled. As was your hurt strength. He tightly made up players to control her emotions and stood up with a jerk. That made every eye to look at you. He started watching while he made up his next stop. Giving yourself the thanks of family. Made everyone stop at your sudden bold move, where Sang and Jimin started hooting. This made him proudly get hit with his next stop at Sang. After winking at him, you went in the middle of the code. Did you guys got a star struggle with? Come, let's start the actual game. In the ending seconds, your eyes directly met with Jungkook as he was trying to trade his hand for eyes or what, but on his side, he was mad. Mad and jealousy. Now, first of all, how did you try to pull that bold stunt of removing that mask off in front of other men? Yeah, they're friends, but before friends, they are men. And a genie literally threw that top on him without nothing but to raise an immense amount of jealousy in him. So, an amazing drama is going to start, but though, Sam winked at Jimin as he turned and Jimin excitedly went to you. I will be on Wine's side. And Jimin, you want Jungkook. And I think I have to remind that I'm always on Wine's side. Jungkook and I do work well together. But I want you to be on Wine's side. No, stay by my side. A surprise look got watchful on your face after hearing this statement. As with waving eyes go, you looked at him. And unknowingly burst out. Excuse me? Ah, I mean, let's start. I don't have time. Oh god, Jungkook, you okay? The distance between you both was just a few centimeters, but more than that, you were worried about him. While two of them winked at each other at the thickness of your plan, 
and Abby got worried. She was about to jump in the dark bin. But Jeff never stopped her and ran out silently. I think I'll be paralyzed. Oh no, you felt really hard. I think you should take you to the hospital. It's not because of Bailey. Maybe because of your weight on me. Panicking, you were about to get up. But as soon as you heard this word, you hit on it. How dare you call me fat, huh? You pig. But I didn't say you were fat. But that's what you mean, okay? And I know that you're not to understand that. Yeah, you understand anything, but I could not understand a relation between me and Abby. He glared at you and he sat up straightly before bursting out all the anger. I'm not a kid. I'm sorry, okay? I accidentally fell on you. It wasn't intentionally. Yeah, I also know what's playing between you and Abby. Since the day she came to fight with me on the very first day, ignoring me afterwards, what do you think? I'm that fool that I won't understand you both and your relationship. You didn't realize you were foul loud and as you stood up, I meant what I said. You jumped back while looking in his eyes as they took an ice cream and disbelieved her soul and mine. You felt your heartbeat was getting fast as soon as he pulled it back on he landed on his left. You felt his intimate shirt and rapid heartbeat. Wait, did you really think that I hit you because you fell on me? His deep icy watch caused a jump to occur in your body as you hesitantly nodded in yes. Yeah, that's just saying something else and got mad at you. I beat you with a leopard's mouth and just stayed pushing your teeth away. You found yourself jumping to under his strong teeth. God, I didn't mean it that way. You couldn't understand his word. You tried to think hard to understand the words he meant, but you didn't stop working as soon as his heartbreak fell on your lips. No, touching your tears. You misunderstood the relation of my and Abby as lover. But there's nothing between us. In fact, shouldn't be. It's not about anyone, but it's about you and only you. Think. He shook you and pulled his soul out of the ears. You don't have any idea how much I admire your affection. You don't know me why I'm at the better when you pull this. I'm used to having you around me. But when I thought of you not being with me, it scared me. Slowly moving his head at your feet, he started rubbing your lower leg, but his thumb is still getting longer and more back set in your eyes. You think that it was easy for me? The more he did it, he could talk to me, but he ignored me even when I tried to approach you. I thought that I did it's just I don't want to try to hear me. Why couldn't you hold me and not reach for you? You really wanted me to say that you're my childhood sweetheart, my secret crush, my first love? You both aware about each other's feelings, but it was disturbing to deny it. But right now, you don't want to hide anymore or any feelings from me. As you were my first in everything, then I want you to be first in the future too. My first kid, my first girlfriend, my first wife, and my first in everything, and I'm legally the last one. I don't want anyone except to you. Your voice is stuck in your throat because of the closeness between you both, only needing a pill in your head and your lips still attached with him. Me too, as I already said, it was in my heart for you. I don't think I have to say that again. Yes, but you know, you're my first in everything, and I want you to be yours. A smile appeared on his lips as he asked, Can I kiss you now? I beg you. Next moment, his lips attached to yours, both of your eyes closed to seal each other lips. As his hand made their way to your waist, he pulled them more closer. You drive me crazy. I want you so much. The number of interest you show makes me afraid of her. I love you too. Parting your lips an inch away before it stared directly in each other's eyes. I don't want you as my enemy. I don't want you to be mine. Only mine. Many years, we worked together at the same time. Seems so stupid, not more than you. Oh god, you're drunk with Jeff and Addy. Who used to come a lot at his house while putting little cute cherry clips on your hair? You excitedly stayed while sitting in the cafeteria with your group of friends. Yeah, actually we came back from states after seven years, so I think that's why you couldn't recognize me. Yeah, you have changed, and I didn't give you even a chance that you could remind me. I'm sorry, I behaved like a child. No, that's okay. After all, you loved him. At the ending of her sentence, she sounded upset. 
um, perhaps she liked me. She knew herself was on pure education, and everybody told you very good. And she looked up at you with a shock. No, she's my cousin. How can I? Every every woman my cousin. I couldn't. We all gave her a confused look as she asked you to come closer, and you did. So she did for something in your head. Well, your your hand glowed to the ground. Yeah, tell if you want. Tell me. Um, how, Eddie? Should I? She nodded your head. She nodded at you, ready yourself to tell them. Actually, she had a crush on me. A loud gas slap from everyone's mouth as Jungle was trying to shoot. Why? Came here to me. He pulled it towards him and they all laughed at him. I actually liked her in childhood, but now she's my crush. But as she was raised, of course, I won't force her. And also, she got into a relationship with my brother, so I'll try to find someone else like me. Well, of course, you got the dream to go first towards you, huh? She dismissed at you as others noted in agreement. Come on, not time for celebration, let's party tonight. A sudden excitement took place in every man where a senior signal came in with eyes. Ah, oh, guys, sorry, I am yes, and join you all. All of your friends gave them questionable looks. Why? Is it not weak for a couple that they must have a plan for tonight? Yeah, we have to. Then we'll have coming sessions since it's so cool. And we'll let us occupy it. He dismissed and pulled her into a kiss, which you all made his fair face. If that's the case, then I think we also need a warming session, don't we, Wyatt? His one set of lips stuck upright as he noted and was thinking of the thing that you were gonna do with him. And to add more blush in your already positive face, he whispered something in your ear.